My role on the Masters is that I'm a lecturer. Um, I'm one of the core teaching staff members. So I am the co-module lead for the core research methods module, um, uh, which will teach you the basic principles of how to do mental health research. And then I do lots of other things uh, on the side, if you want to say that. So um, I'm a study group lead. Um, I also help to run journal club and the Wednesday afternoon programs. And then I'm a personal tutor and I supervise projects. And I'm also the person that you contact uh, for extenuating circumstances. So if you need an extension for any reason. So I have my, my hands on a lot of pies. <laughs> I think the thing that's most distinctive is that what students do um, for their assessment is what I do as a researcher and I think that's really, really important um, because it gives it very much a real world context. So for example, on the core research methods module, students will do um, a, an assignment that's a questionnaire design assignment and they'll do another one that is a protocol for a systematic review. And those are both things that I do as a researcher in my day to day life and I think understanding those skills and then having a practical um, basis of them and being able to apply it is really important. And for me that's also my favourite thing about the course. Um, I think it's quite unique in that way, it's not just theoretical, it prepares people really well for going out and uh, into their jobs, whether that's as a research assistant or if they want to do the declin psych and, and obviously there's a doctorate involved in that, it gives people an excellent underpinning um, for, for where their career goes next. We have lots of support in place on the course. Um, so when people start the, the MSc, they're automatically assigned to a study group. Usually the study groups are around seven to nine students each. And we try to mix everyone up so there's a good um, level of diversity in all the groups, people from different backgrounds, um, people that have studied in the UK, people that haven't studied in the UK. And it's a really nice chance for people to work together and also you know, make friends and integrate into the course. And I I think that's really important. Um, so they also have study group leads so it's not just the students working by themselves they do do work amongst their group but they also have an academic so someone like myself um, on as their study group lead and then also a PhD student and a postdoc and so it gives people the platform to practice presentations to ask questions about assignments or just to basically support each other when they're on the course. Aside from that, there's also um, personal tutors. So every student is assigned a personal tutor and that person is there to help them kind of with academic advice. So that might be how they manage their workload on the course, um, you know, what modules might fit in best for, for where they want their career to go, um, what, their, you know, what they want their career to be, so, you know, um, and how to support them in achieving that goal. And, and usually there's also some pastoral support in that role as well. So actually if people are having problems at home with a, with a flatmate or um, they want advice about finances, then that person is really good at signposting them to all the services that are available um, to, you know, through UCL that might be able to help them. And then there's the project supervisors. So, you know, you have two project supervisors um, that are there to make sure that you are supported. I mean, it's an independent piece of work, but you are well supported to do that. Um, and that any advice that you need and, and any planning that takes place, um, and they, they help you with that. And, you know, we offer quite a variety of projects. Um, and that support might be also in training, so um, we've got people on our staff that help you with um, qualitative skills, systematic review skills, statistics. So, you know, there's a lot of that support in place just even amongst our research, uh, our teaching team. And then we've also got great social um, support and I think that's really nice. Uh, we have some excellent PhD students who lead the uh, kind of social group charge. They organise um, social events and that can be anything from going for dinner to going bowling, um, it could be museums, it could be anything. And it's just a really nice way to make the group feel like it's cohesive and that, um, that everyone knows other people on the course and that they don't get lost in the crowd.
hopefully there's a lot of support there. The projects that we offer are much, they tend to be a bit more shorter in terms of word count and they also involve other components like an oral presentation and a blog. And that is really important for how you disseminate your information um, and true to what happens in real life. So, um, you know, you might do a 10,000 word project in, on other MSCs. Well, we get you to do a much smaller one. And that sounds like it's, it's better, uh, you know, it's easier, but it's not. <laughs> Actually, writing concisely um, is a hard skill to learn, but it's really important and valuable that you learn that on the course because actually we want you to come out potentially with a publication. So um, lots of our students have gone on to publish from their projects. In fact, I think we've got over 20 students that have done that, um, which, you know, it, it's that translation um, from what you do on the course and, and then how it prepares you for, it actually starts, kickstarts your research career outside of the course as well and leads you onto that career path. So I think that's probably the most key thing. Um, it, gives you, it gives you those employability skills. Uh, so I'm a researcher um, and uh, I did a PhD as opposed to um, a doctorate on the Declan Psych. My research role relates to the course because actually a lot of what interests me I can then offer as projects and work really collaboratively, collaboratively with students on that. So um, my interests are primarily around self-harm and child and adolescent mental health. And I have an opportunity to get students help me collect data on that, either through interviews uh, or through kind of quantitative surveys. And then, you know, we kind of, we then work together on the, um, the project and, and after the project, a publication. So the two are, are definitely linked. And also, you know, it's like I mentioned earlier, what I do in my, my research career, things like systematic reviews, is a lot of what I teach on the course. So it's about practicing and refining those skills, both for myself and then also passing that information on to students so they find it helpful for what will come next. I think there's a great culture for students in the division. It's, the people that work there are wonderful, they're really welcoming. Um, and lots of students get involved in research um, and do optional placements also within the division. In fact, there's quite a few students that have gone on to do PhDs or take on research assistant posts within the division and I, show, I think that shows that good links are made throughout the MSc. Um, also the division offers things like talks and likes to get the students involved. I mean, I think student voice is incredibly important and so we want to hear from from you essentially um, and have your feedback so you are often you know students are often attending meetings and um, and giving us kind of ideas about how we can improve and and what's also working really well and then also the students become really active participants in the division so we have a student-led conference that takes place um, at, in the in the summer which is completely organized by our students and then actually you get members of the division and other parts of UCL and in fact outside of UCL that are attending, we open that up to everyone. But it, it creates those links um, both within the division and outside of it. So it's, it's a really nice collaboration and, and it has a very good feel to it. It is a challenge, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it is a challenge and it's meant to be. The point is to, to push you and to raise you up to another level. So um, I would be honest about the fact that this is quite an intense course and um, you know there is a lot of things, particularly in the first term, that uh, so there's a lot of work to be done. But we try to break it down and make it manageable for you as well. So I mean part of it is for you to be challenged and to, for us to support you in your success and to achieving it. And that's why things like the study groups are really important because in your study group you will break down the task and you'll be able to practice it. So then we give you feedback on your group task. It makes the workload more manageable, but you also get some idea about then how to do it in your individual assignment. And so, I mean, although it's, it's um, 
it is challenging. Like I say, I think we, we try to support you in, in being successful on the course and, you know, take on the challenge. It's really exciting. I love, I love my job. I think I've got the best job in the world. And I think this, if I look back, I wish that this course existed when I was thinking about, when I wasn't too sure about whether or not I wanted to do the declin psych or if I wanted to do a PhD. And I mean, I've never left, obviously I did my PhD and I've stayed in research. Um, but this would have given me much better skills. I've learned these things along the way with good support. And I think it's nice that this is here earlier on for people at the start of their careers and hopefully will make life um, both a bit easier, but also give them a really good grounding and put them in a really good position to go for those top, um, top roles. Journal Club tends to run in the first and third term and essentially what it is, it's the entire group of students getting together once a week and each study group taking turns to d sort of present on a paper. Um, the papers are really up to date, so usually from the last one to two years, in fact sometimes they can be the last few months, um, and it's really about breaking down that paper and the students taking time to understand it and critique it and offer their own view on it um, and presenting that essentially to their peers and opening it up to discussion um, and it's really it's really it's really great because it gets people um, discussing the paper it gets them thinking differently about it not just accepting what's presented at face value and also what's really good is that we always have um, an academic that's attending and quite often um, we can get the author that's attending uh, that written the paper to attend the session and they can maybe give some sort of um, additional justification for why certain methods were chosen or why that wasn't discussed and, and you know it's good for them to get the feedback as well. Um, and then a blog is written on it and that's really, I like the fact that we do blogs because we need to think about how to disseminate research outside of peer review publications so it's accessible to people. And people actually really struggle with the blogs, it takes a lot of practice, it's not as easy as it sounds and that's a really good way of practicing it particularly because a blog is part of the project as well so students get an opportunity to practice doing the blog in journal club and again it's a nice thing that groups do together um, so there's that sense of cohesion and also how you work together in a group and I know sometimes um, group work can put people off a little bit but actually um, in research we're always working in, in study groups um, it, we're always collaborating and so it's a really good opportunity to practice those skills and how you how you might share those documents or how you work with people and and journal good journal clubs are a really good way of doing that oh and one other thing I would say add is that um, we also collaborate with the mental health so this is a, a mental health professional um, blogger and uh, and so he will also come and do sessions on, you know, how to do a blog post. And actually loads of our students have done blogs for him. Um, and, and it's a great opportunity to, again, disseminate your research to a wider audience.